here we are, first night with the big rig, the Pagoda. It was pretty hectic to drive, a bit scary, but you know, we got there. Had them on the highway now and out of the city. And the big girl was a lot different than the caravan, not so much. Rightio, so here we are, day two in the big bus, driving it back across the country. So we're in Wagga right now. She's bloody cold, let me tell you. Beanie on, everything, this bus, I don't even know how to work the heater. She's, it's bloody cold. So I just stopped in, grabbed a, grabbed a coffee. That's a, that'll get me going for a few hours. Um, I'll probably, I left camp at about 4.30. It was just so bloody cold sleeping in the bus last night. So <clears throat> I left at about 4.30, got to Wagga about 6.30, which it is an hour. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna try and meet up with Tasha today down in Barra, near, in South Australia there. So it's about 10 hours from here, six o'clock now. I should get in about four. Should get there, I reckon. See how we go. Let you know, keep in touch. Rightio, it's Smoko lunchtime on day two. I've made it to Belrenald, which is in the middle of bumfuck nowhere between Mildura and Hay, I think. So it's been a fair, 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 fair few Ks today, punching it out. Thought I'd better stop, fuel up, have some tucker, and then yeah, while I'm here, I'll give you a tour of the, of the big rig. So, rightio, so we've got all this stuff in here. I don't know what any of these buttons do. Um, these ones over here, yeah, no idea. That one puts a little fan on up there. How does that bloody thing? Look at that. How good, she rattles and does all sorts. Um, anyway, see she is. All 61 seats of her. Don't mind my towel just hanging up there and all me, all my, my life just right there. But yeah, pretty much flat floor all the way through. Plenty of these up here that'll just get ripped out afterwards. They won't be lasting very long. Should be a pretty easy, uh, easy sort of thing to fit out, hopefully. Here was my bed last night. As you can see, she was a um, five-star hotel. But yeah, mate, done the job. Freezing cold. That's why I left at four o'clock. So yeah, there she is, eh? Let's see how this changes in a few months. Okay, here we go. About five k's out of seeing Tasha where we're going to stop for the night. We'll have to try and report her reaction. Uh, done probably a thousand k's today. Been on the road about 12 hours. Been a big day, but no, it'd be good to pull in and sleep in the swag. Instead of sleeping on the back seat, which was shocking and freezing cold. So here we go, stay tuned. Coming into the rest stop where Tasha is, let's see what she reckons. I missed it on the way up, so I had to do a big U turn, but we should get in there this time. Let's see how we go. Still don't know where the bloody hell it is. Righto, there's a sign. Should be a good day, only about 180, 190 k's from here, so should be quite easy. 
Let's do it. back halfway across Australia in our new setup. sign is still bloody falling down over there. Alright, here we go. We're in WA ladies and gentlemen. Welcome home. Right, this morning we had the 90 mile straight just outside Kaguna. So we thought we'd pull in here. Let me shut this bloody door, it's cold. Pulled in, had a shower, fueled up, everything like that. And then yeah, Tash is just getting a couple of photos of the 90 mile straight sign now. Can't get the drone up because it's an airport next door, which is fair enough. So we'll see if we can get one down at the other end of Baladonia. But we're going to try and get to Kalgoorlie today. I've got to go get a, another moving permit because that one's expired because we took too long in Carrot and they only give you six days to cross the country in a bus, which is fucking ridiculous. Anyways, that's the plan. We'll see how we go. We'll stop in Norseman, probably get some lunch, and then we'll head off to Kalgoorlie and wait in line at the Department of Transport. How fun is that going to be? 
in Kargoorlie. Today, um, left what cool guardian in the morning when I had a shower in Southern Cross and did all that stuff had a good coffee in there and then drove all the way back home coming down Mundaring Hill with all the traffic was uh, was entertaining that wasn't really the issue coming down the hill I was worried about is more getting to the sets of traffic lights and stuffing up gears and all the stuff which I only did once I was quite happy with that got the finger from some Midland local in his foot falcon but you know you expect that coming through the hood all the way back in and um yeah done, done all right getting into malaga drop the bus off drop the trailer back off at tasha's mum's and yeah sort of settling in now unpacking all the stuff and getting all the boxes out and dealing with all that shit, which i'm not looking forward to i'm halfway through doing it now and got bored and got sidetracked and yeah here we are so yeah not a lot's going on today tasha's just getting some children's checks done and all this stuff so we can get into some work next week and get back into the swing of things and i can start building the bus so within a couple of weeks we'll be ripping things out and yeah doing all sorts of stuff so it's going to be exciting a bit nerve-wracking but 
yeah, it's going to open up a big can of worms that, yeah, I'll deal with. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So now that we're back home, I thought we'd better finish off our map. It's that first little map showing where we've been and all the trips that we've been on now that we're sort of going to settle down for a, a couple of months and build the bus. So let's have a look at it. It starts off in Perth there. All the black lines are the caravan and the uh, red ones are Tasha's trip back and the blue ones will be the bus trip home. So look at that, all the way up through the middle there. Circles bloody everywhere. All the way up to the Cape, up to Thursday Island, back down again, all the way down through Brizzy, out through all there, like all the way out, down the coast, Canberra, Melbourne, down to bloody Tassie, look at all that in there. There's all sorts going on in there. And all the way back across. 